Everyone is talking about AI note takers, but here's what no one tells you. They actually all work in different ways. Some are awesome, some not so much. And the differences are actually not only about the output quality of the summary, but also how they work technically in the background. So in this video, I'll try to break down the different types of AI note taker out there so you will find your perfect fit. But before we dive in, I have some good and bad news for you. The bad news is I'm one of the co-founders of Jamie, which actually is an AI note taker, but I'll promise you, I'll keep this review very unbiased so you can make your own decision. The good news is, since we're building an iNote taker ourselves, we really know what we're talking about. So let's dive in and let's look at the landscape how AI note takers actually differ. So most AI note takers use a bot or an integration to join the call. This gives them access to the audio and sometimes the video so you know exactly who said what. The downside, you have this little meeting bot sitting in your call, which at times can feel awkward when you're in meetings with clients or team members. Some other tools actually try to avoid this by using a plugin, which then does not require a bot to join the call, but then you're tied to this platform such as Google Meet or Zoom. On the other hand, you have bot-free AI note takers. They use your system audio or your microphone to record the meeting. This actually gives you the flexibility of not only recording online meetings, but out offline or in person. And this flexibility, to be honest, is a big plus for many. When we talk about AI note takers, let's be honest, the most important thing is the quality of the output, right? So do I have to go into the summary and edit it afterwards, or is it ready to share? And here again, the tools differ. Some tools will give you a very text-heavy, long paragraph summary, and others will rather focus on bullet points to only hide the most important things that are discussed in the call. And of course, each tool has their own features. For example, we at Jamie decided to not only give you the summary as an output, but also extract tasks and decisions for you, because let's be real, that's what we like to forget easily. Next, we will look at transcription and speaker identification. Because in the end, if you want to dive into the details, you want to know who said what, right? One limitation of the bot-free AI note takers is that you often don't know who said what, because you only record the audio on a system level. This often makes the summary more generic and less actionable. Bots, on the other hand, get more metadata from tools like Zoom or Google Meet, and therefore can identify exactly who said what. There are some AI note takers that actually have the bot-free approach, but still give you the ability to identify speakers, such as, for example, Jamie. We worked very hard to close this gap and give you the option to actually, after the meeting, identify a speaker with the audio clip and even remember it for future meetings. Finally, let's look at privacy. When you choose an AI note taker that fits your workflow and want to make sure that your data stays private, there are a couple of things that you should check. First, where is your data stored? Is it in the EU, US, or somewhere else? Second, is your data used for training purposes, such as training larger LLMs? This kind of information you usually find in the privacy policy of the companies. But sometimes it's buried and you have to dig deeper. At Jamie, for example, we make sure that all our processes are GDPR compliant, we host in Europe, we don't store any audio data, and of course, we don't train the models on your data. So whichever tool you decide to go with, make sure that their approach to privacy actually matches your standards. With that in mind, I hope you are able to pick the personal note taker that fits your workflow best to finally stop stressing about note taking yourself.